Hey, Psych2Goers, welcome back. Do you have anxiety or do you know what it might feel like to have it? If you answered no, it's still important for us to educate ourselves and raise awareness about anxiety and other mental illnesses. So it's a good thing you're here. And if you have someone in your life who you think might be struggling with feelings of anxiety, then it would do you a lot of good to learn more about what it's like to live with anxiety so you can help eliminate the stigma against it and be there for them in a way that they need. So with that said, here are eight things people with anxiety want you to know. Number one, anxiety is real, even if you can't see it. One of the worst things you can do to someone with anxiety or any kind of mental health concern really is to invalidate their feelings by saying their anxiety is a choice or that it's all in their head. Just because you can't see it doesn't make their struggle with mental illness any less real. Number two, anxiety affects a lot of people all over the world. According to the Anxiety and Depression Association of America, roughly 31% of those aged 18 years old and above have or will experience an anxiety disorder at some point in their lives. That means over 40 million adults in the United States alone suffer from anxiety every year. That makes anxiety one of the most commonly diagnosed mental illnesses in the world, affecting people of all ages, races, genders, and backgrounds. Number three, people with anxiety wish they could stop, but it's complicated. Next time you ask your friend to just snap out of it, relax, or get a grip on their anxiety, think back to a time when you got sick or seriously injured. Could you just tell your body to get over the cold or stop being allergic to something? To heal your bones or cure your infection with sheer power of will? No, right? If you could, then life would be much easier for you. Well, mental illness is the exact same way. Living with anxiety is far from a walk in the park, and it's not something that someone can just get over in a snap. Number four, anxiety affects the mind and body. Sometimes our anxious thoughts lead to experiencing physical symptoms like sweaty palms, trembling, muscle tension, shortness of breath, and a pounding heart. Anxiety is never just in your head. And trying to rationalize it, as kind as your intentions might be when you tell someone there's no need to be nervous, tends to make them feel worse, not better. Number five, anxiety has nothing to do with you or the relationship. One of the reasons why it's so difficult for people with mental illnesses to have healthy, thriving, long-term relationships, be it platonic or romantic, is because most people tend to have this very problematic idea that if you love someone enough, you can make their mental illness go away, that they can be well for you or change for the better because of how much they love you and how much you love them. But it just doesn't work that way because their anxiety has nothing to do with you or their relationship with you. And just because they feel anxious around you sometimes doesn't mean they love you any less. Number six, seemingly random things can be triggering. Anxiety can be scary, especially when we don't understand the exact nature of why and when it happens. A lot of people suffering from anxiety are often triggered by many different things. Oftentimes it can be uncomfortable or unfamiliar situations, such as public speaking or having fights with friends, but it can also be brought out by seemingly random unrelated things. Number seven, it's not your job to fix those with anxiety. When a friend or family member confides in you about their struggles with anxiety, they're doing it because they trust you and feel safe being vulnerable around you. They're not asking you to fix them or make their problems go away. So just be there for them like a good friend would. And any support or understanding you can show will surely go a long way in helping them manage their anxieties. And finally, number eight, we are more than our anxiety. Finally, but maybe most importantly, people with anxiety want you to know that they are more than their struggles with mental illness. They don't let their anxiety define them or their life, so you shouldn't either. And just because someone struggles with anxiety doesn't mean they can't enjoy themselves anymore, reach their full potential, or have meaningful relationships with others. Anxiety disorders are also one of the most highly treatable mental illnesses in the world, so there's always hope that things will get better. So if you have anxiety, did you agree with these points? Did you learn something new? Remember, if you or anyone you know is struggling with anxiety or any other serious mental health concern, please do not hesitate to reach out to a mental health care professional today and seek help. Did you find this video insightful? Tell us in the comments below. Please like and share it with friends that might find value in this video too. 
make sure to subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell for more content. All the references used are added in the description box below. And thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.